Hey guys, what's up? It's Auric from AppMake here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to hide the status bar in your apps. So now you can just start a new project or whatever. We're just going to name this, you know, whatever we want. Um, and you can integrate this on your regular projects as well. Now what you're going to do is, um, first I'm actually going to be showing you guys what it looks like normally. So I'm just going to be adding just some text in here, uh, just so you'll be able to see the difference between the two. Um, so I'm just going to drag this text over into the uh, the view, um, and you can do this in whatever kind of app you want. Now I'm just going to run this just to show you what it looks like with the status bar. And as you guys, if, you, if you've ever seen stuff in the App Store, uh, you can see some stuff has, a st has the actual status bar at the top. Some stuff actually hides it. Uh, we're going to be teaching you how to hide it. So you can see up here, even before the app's fully loaded, you can see the status bar um, right on top of the app. And that can get annoying if you have some content, you know, you don't really want the status bar showing there. So what you're going to be able to do is um, just apply this little bit of um, preferences in the plist. So go into your plist file, all right, under your supporting files. Now you're going to control click, add row. Now you're just going to type in status bar is initially hidden. And once you type in status bar, it should show up. Double click on no, type in capital yes. Um, and what that should do is make it so that it is hidden and there you go if you load it up You can see that the status bar is hidden and it will be hidden throughout the entire app This is definitely a really good feature and it really works well if you want to either add in your own status bar type type stuff Or you want to just really maximize your space um, Once again guys don't forget to subscribe. See you later